Hey guys, Kevin and Scott here from Elite Academy of Martial Arts. We're about to do a Jiu Jitsu video. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, paper cutter choke. It's one of my favorite chokes and one of the first chokes I learned from crossbody many, many years ago. Um, I've actually never had another instructor teach me this one except for my first one, uh, Mario Roberto. So I'm going to show you guys this one. So we're starting with Scott uh, on crossbody. And basically, the paper cutter choke, all it is is my right hand goes in the gi here, and I'm going to cut down like uh, those big paper cutters in art class that you used to use uh, that chop down uh, large pieces of paper. So my right hand goes like this. What I need is this hand to be on the bottom. So most of the time, it's here. All right. Uh, I have crossbody anyway. It doesn't matter how you're holding crossbody. But usually, this hand is here. Every once in a while, He'll uh, push against my hip, or he'll even tuck it under because he's going to shuck me off of him. Um, so somehow it gets trapped over here. So let's do it uh, the, the first way. Usually if you go north and south, so I'm here, and I start to go north and south on him, sometimes he'll move his hand so that it's right here on this side. Okay? So I go north and south, his hand is here. So once I get north and south, I'm just going to take my hand and I'm going to underhook his arm and go back. And as I underhook, I'm going to take this left hand and grab his collar right here. So I'm reaching under, grabbing that collar uh, on this side in a really firm grip. I'm laying my hip down to the ground so this arm cannot come back, okay? So again, he's here. I'm crossbody, head down. I start to move north and south. I feel his arm pop out. Maybe he's trying to push against my armpit or something. I'm just gonna take my left hand. I reach and I grab collar. I spin back and I sink my left hip really low so that it pins his arm against my body and the ground. I'm going to keep my head down, take my right hand, slide it across his neck this way, okay? Get a really good grip, roll the gi out a little bit, get a really good grip, and then from here I'm going to roll to my right shoulder, right elbow to the ground, and, and he starts to tap. So I am rolling to the right, driving my elbow towards the ground so that he'll tap. All right, so I'm gonna go north and south, reach under, grab the arm, uh, reach across, grab the gi, and then turn and choke. So starting crossbody, you can have crossbody however you want, you can double under, whatever, but to go north and south, I just switch my hands, start to spin, get north and south on him. This arm, it pops out somehow. Sometimes he grabs your, your armpit, he's doing stuff, or sometimes it just, you know, as you spin north and south, his hand just comes out. And so it's kind of hanging out here, and he'll, he'll try to push your face or something. So I'm just going to underhook and grab his collar. I'm grabbing right along here, grabbing all the way to his collar, putting my hip down, and then spinning back. Okay, pinning this arm. He's going to try to get that arm, his right arm out. I need to lay on it, okay? I need to lay down on it and not be so much on him anymore. This hand will slide and grab Gi right next to his throat pretty tight. Okay, keep your head down, and then from here, turn to the left. And like that. Sometimes when I reach like this, he's gonna block with that arm. So that's fine, I just scoop my body and grab up top over his arm where he's trying to block, just grab Gi right here, and then from here, shave his face. Bring it back, shave it across his face, and then come back down. Okay. I reach, I grab under. Scott's trying to block this hand. So he's giving me a hard time. He can't get his right arm free because I'm really laying on it right now. He's trying to turn. So I just go over and grab D from over here. So now my elbow is over his head. And from here, I'm going to shave his head. And once I get a grip, it doesn't matter if he puts his arm in the way or not. He can try to put his arm in the way, but I have a lot more leverage than him. So I just hinge my elbow, shaving. And see, I just lean my body a little bit. Get it across his chin. His chin will be down, doesn't matter. And he's, go ahead and put your elbow in. He's gonna either grab the top of my elbow or block on the inside, doesn't matter because this is the wrong arm to defend with. And then I just start to look the other way and tilt. And he'll start to tap, very strong. The key is to keep this arm trapped. He's gonna do all he can to get this arm out. And if he can turn and get this arm out, uh, he'll be free of the choke and then you have to Try it again, but you can get a really strong lock on his collar and lay on that arm really well. Uh, he'll bounce and move and resist, but it's pretty tough to get out of. One of my favorite chokes to do is an underhook. So anytime you can underhook from north and south or crossbody, you'll be able to set up this choke. All right, guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave comments below, and I'll try to answer them. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.